A lot of you out there might know or do know about the Saltist reels. They've been around for a long, long time. Um, they were originally brought out as jigging reels uh, for ski boating. And over the last couple of years, the Rock and Surf Boys have started to utilize this reel because of the extremely strong drag system that it has and because it has been one of those reels that has lasted quite a long time. Over the last couple of months, Dawa have been working on the new Saltist. They've improved it in several different ways and I'll go through the reel, comparing the two, the old one with the new one and going through the new features that makes this Saltist the leading reel as far as jigging, spinning, that is rock and surf wise, goes. Um, firstly and foremost, what we've got in the old reel was a tension knob. And because it worked so well in the past, what it had on it was a little rubber flange that prevented any water from actually penetrating the drag system. Dawa still kept that in the new one, as you can see. I'll just quickly take this apart. In the new one they kept it because it was such a successful way of preventing water from penetrating into the actual drag washer. The difference between the, the two, basically, if you look at them, is the little clip that they had on it over here, which was your line keeper, they've taken away. It's predominantly more a jigging and casting reel now. So that little line clip has now gone away and there's no way that your line can actually catch on it in any way, form or means. This, the drag washer system that they use, which is Carbotex, um, the only difference that they did in the two was to use a special oil which lubricates the drag system in a way that basically in layman's term if it's stagnant the oil is almost like water the minute it starts to be utilized the drag starts to kick in the oil becomes almost like a grease. The viscosity changes and it just keeps the drag smooth from the initial offset. So the minute you set the hook on any fish, whether it be a tuna, a shark or a skate, it starts off smooth and continues to be smooth all the way through. That's basically the drag system in the reel, which was kept very much the same. The handle on both of them if I can show you, stayed exactly the same. It's a one-piece construction. The handle changed to make it stronger and more durable. That is one of the big differences. One-piece handle, that is the new one. And the old one had the handle that actually ran through the actual shaft onto the main gear. Now the biggest problem became after a while when you've got a shaft going through a main gear there tends to be a lot of wear and tear and it made the reel a little bit loose. So what happened was as it goes through there and you utilize it it made this part of the actual reel loose and there was a lot of play in it. So what they did is they came up with a system where the main gear, the shafting is inside the actual main gear, making that whole system more durable and longer lasting. So the main gear handle part that actually screws onto it sits together. You'll see there it is over there.
Another nice feature that they did was they had a watertight seal, which is that over there. So what that does is prevents any water once it's placed onto the handle. And that handle part over there, the inside part, actually sits inside it and makes it totally watertight. So no water can penetrate into the reel from that side, the right hand side. On the left hand side, they've got a cap that is also, when put on, creates a watertight seal. So when that cap goes on there and it's tightened, it creates a watertight seal in that vicinity so no water can penetrate into the reel. On this side, on the older reels, it was a standard handle cap and there was a little bit of water penetration inside there. Not too much, but it's just little improvements that they've done on it to make the new Saltist way, way more watertight. Another little thing, and I find this very nice, is on the old reels, the back part used to get scratched a lot, especially if you used to put it down on the rocks or in your rod um, racks, your, your vertical rod racks. On the boat, they used to bounce around and it used to scratch the back of the reel. What happened now is they've put on a plastic cover, if I can say that. And this plastic cover is easy to change. It literally one screw at the bottom and that takes off the cover. Now, what that cover does is, when placed down, protects the back of the reel. It's a non-slip cover, so it doesn't allow your reel to roll around as well. And when it's banging on the boat, because it's oversized on each side here, it stops any damage to the reel and protects your, your boat, basically, as well. So that little cover there, after two years, you can take it, throw it away. They're inexpensive. And that's a nice little feature, easy to replace, easy to basically <coughs> look after your reel. It's, it's nice. It's a nice little feature that they've come up with. Now, the big thing to this reel, guys, is what they call mag seal. And Dawa have progressed and developed this over the last few years, and it now comes out in our saltest range. That is our new saltest range. The mag seal is basically the interior part of the reel. What the mag seal does is prevent any water from penetrating into the reel through the main shaft. So no water goes in through the top. Okay. Um, they use, and I'll show you over here, the old, well the old one, had a very big um, nut on the top with a rubber grommet on it and the magnetized oil was actually inside that area there. Now what happened is with heat and that, the, the water did tend to get in there. They changed that completely by putting a bigger and stronger rubber on the top, keeping all the oil inside, which lubricated the shaft of the reel a lot better. Now the lubrication is a magnetic lubrication that they use. So if you spun this reel at speed, none of the oil actually comes off of it in any way, form or means. You can take it off obviously if you used your finger, but you wouldn't do that um, under normal usage. The magnetic oil sits on the shaft, it also sits in the bearings and what they've done is these bearings over here, there's two bearings inside the, the roller and of course with the magnetic oil, there's no ways that the oil comes out of the bearing, it's a sealed bearing. The magnetic oil stays inside of it, water can't penetrate, it, in, penetrate into the actual bearing. And what it does is, you have a lot of longevity in this bale arm. So there's no ways it can corrode. The older ones unfortunately didn't have it, and you'd have to replace the bearing inside there after a while. Um, salt penetration is one of the, the points that Dawa strive to prevent. This mag seal system that they're using in the bearings and in the main shaft, uh, in the gearbox if I can call it that, of the reel, prevents any dust from adhering to it. It prevents any water from getting into it, it repels the water. 
And because it's magnetically charged, when you're spinning it under speed, it does not come off of the item that it has been placed in or on. The MagSeal technology started off originally with our top of our range Saltiga reels and it has progressed down into our more economical range of reels and it is getting better and better every day. Another little feature that's quite nice on this is that there's a little um, rubber grommet at the bottom of the actual shaft that prevents any water from penetrating into the spool from the top over there. So the water can't get in from the top and the water can't get in there keeping your spool or your drag washer system free of any water. Okay, just another little feature there. Another feature that they've come up with on the spool, the old one never used to have it. The new one has got the bobbin uh, rubber, which is that little part over there. What that little rubber does is basically, and it's mainly for braid fishing, is prevent the braid when it's under pressure from twisting on the spool. It actually bites in and holds it, it locks it in place. So there is no ways that your braid can actually twist on the inside. Another little feature that they added, which is quite unique. Another feature which they've stuck with in our Saltus range is the manual bail arm. So for the guys that are vertical jigging, of course you've got a manual bail arm. So manual bail arm means that you've got to manually turn it over. Okay, there's no other way to release it. And the reason they do that as well is if you're casting, that this does not click over, the bail arm doesn't click over. So for rock and surf purposes, it works very well. For ski boating purposes, if you're vertical jigging, you have to turn it over yourself. Guys, another great feature with the Saltus reels is its retrieve. It's 1.23 meters per revolution of the actual handle. Uh, 5.3 is to 1 as far as the, the rotation of the actual bail arm goes. So for every time that handle comes to this point, this bail arm is going to rotate 5.3 times. So basically you're going to go around 5.3 times to get to the same position which equates to 1.23. So 1 meter, 23 centimeters retrieval on every re revolution of the handle, which is very, very fast for any reel. The Saltus reel comes with eight uh, CRB bearings, which is corrosion resistant ball bearings. Okay, it just makes it last a lot longer. Another nice feature of this reel. And comparing the two, the old one was a 4500 and a 6500. This one, they have increased the number of reels in that brand, in that range. 3000, 4000. 4,500, 5,000, uh, 6,500, and an 8,000 size in the same reel. The drag rating on our Saltus reels is 15 kilos or 33 pounds, um, which, as you know, is phenomenal as far as a grinder reel um, pulling power goes. Uh, it's one of the better, stronger drags that you can get. Full aluminium body and cover. On the 8,000 size reel, which is our bigger one, one of our anglers put on 1,100 meters of our Cobra 48 pound. It does take a lot of braid. The Saltus range of reels, for anybody that is thinking of purchasing a quality reel, this is definitely the flagship one that I would recommend. And I've used the older one for a long long time and to me it has proven to be the most successful reel on the market today value for money the best reel that you can purchase so if you're a serious rock and surf ski boater this is the reel that you need to look at <music>